So everyone, it's me, TakaSumiD2 here, and to today's video, so today guys, I'm gonna be giving you some new Smash Bros. news today, because recently this morning, Smash Bros. Ultimate has announced his latest DLC fighter coming to Smash Bros. Ultimate's DLC lineup for Fighters Pass Volume 2, and the character is none other than Steve himself. Steve from Minecraft to be exact, and my goodness, not only did Steve really caused a whole lot of people to be surprised because most people expected either Travis, Dante, Crash, Sora, and not only did they really surprise them, it also crashed Twitter's servers, and my goodness, because due to his conclusion, it nearly, it like really, it straight up crashed the entire Twitter servers, and this, and you know, and this is how you know Steve's inclusion is way bigger than you think. And people back then thought it was impossible for Steve to come in because of how weirdly misshaped and like because it feels weird to have a cubed world into like some sort of 3D game. But yet, Mr. Gamer Watch, a 2D character, his fight in 3D characters in his own world, which is pretty much a 2D stage, which is I don't see the exact problem. And Sakurai did say that he did not care that much for console wars, but. Anyways, it is really amazing that Steve is min Smash Bros. Ultimate, because I cannot believe it. Sakurai Nintendo has actually did the impossible. And not only that, Mojang itself, Mojang who created Minecraft, and now it's owned by Microsoft. And now, I, oh yeah, I do want to mention that this is now two Microsoft characters in Smash Bros. Yet, Master Chief in the background is crying in the corner. But as I was saying, Mojang, who created Minecraft has actually got themselves a response to this because they pretty much had a reaction to Steve's inclusion. But before that, um, I do want to tell you guys that they recently added Steve to the Smash Brothers banner and you might be wondering where does Steve go in place after his announcement? This is where it is. And oh my goodness guys, I can wear- I can tell whether or not this looks like- I can't tell where whether or not this is out of place because the fact that Steve, the Steve looks like he's photoshopped in there. If you were ever to show this to someone back in like the early, I don't know, like 2014 when Smash for Wii U and 3DS or maybe Brawl or something was still uh, like there at the time. If you show someone this, this picture, they would think it's a leak because of how weirdly photoshopped Steve looks. It looks like someone just like went to like Microsoft Paint, spot Steve in there and bang. I mean, he looks so out of place uh, right around the other artwork. I can't tell whether or not this is a troll or like on purpose, but it is cool to see that Steve is pretty much digging underground and pretty much be like, uh, wait, where am I? Am I in the right place? Where are the diamonds? But anyways, guys, um, that was pretty much it, but, well, not it, but here right now, I'm currently on the NintendoEverything.com, um, website, and it says here, Micro Developer Mojang Studios comments on new Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC announcement. It says here, just a short while ago, it was revealed that Minecraft will be appearing in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with new DLC, including Steve, Alex, the Zombie, and Enderman will all be representative. It's weird they didn't include Skeleton or Creeper. Anyways, following the news, My Minecraft developer Mojang Studios published a blog post pertaining to the announcement. Read it in the full below. It says, and then, what states here, is, is there a doctor in the house? I think I'm about to faint. It all started when I found out this weird white envelope lying on the front door of Mojang Studios, sealed with some kind of red wax stamp. An even weirder address to Alex and Steve, who could possibly want to reach out to our only most iconic duo by snail mail. Did the email end up in a spam folder? My curiosity knew, knew no bounds. Of course, I did what any responsible employee would do, left it where I found it. It walked away, returned two seconds later, and then opened the letter. Dear Minecraft players, you have no idea what we all been inviting to. Is that really happening? Do your eyes play tricks on you? After pinching myself about 74 times, I can safely confirm that it hurt. This is this is neither a dream nor an extremely belated April Fool's joke. Minecraft will be joining the, ca the cast of the critically acclaimed Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for Nintendo Switch. In an upcoming challenger pack, Alex and Steve, along with a fellow mob such as the Enderman and the Zombie, We'll duke it out in a blocky brawl with Mario, Kirby, and many other characters from the world's games you know and love. As most of us here in Mojang are busy screaming our lungs up in pure joy, 
our chief creative, creative officer, Jens Jeb Bergstrom, I think that's how I pronounce his last name, offer a few words on this, on this surreal yet magical milestone. And, and Jeb says here, Bring in Minecraft to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a result of an amazing collaboration with Nintendo, said Jeb. As fans of the series and avid players at our studios, we couldn't be more excited to see Minecraft join Smash Ultimate's already a legendary lineup of characters. By now, you must have so many questions. When is the DLC coming out? How effective is Mario at Smash and Minecraft blocks? What does Steve taste like according to Kirby? And, what, and who does Jeb main? You'll be having to know all that in your questions and will be answered very very soon. All you need to know is tune in as Mr. Sakurai presents Steve and Alex this Saturday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Time or depending on your time zone, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time or 4.30 p.m. Uh, I think that's how, I don't know how to say it. I think, I don't know. Followed by Minecraft Live, our live celebration of everything Minecraft at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Time and all that. Now please excuse me, I have to go seal this level before someone finds out I read it. And that's the entire reaction. It is really amazing to see how Mojang has come this far. And can you not, and can you believe it, guys? Years ago, there were so many fake videos of Steve getting announced for Smash Brothers. And it was like back during the Wii U and 3DS days. Those were such the times. But then, literally now, like we're in 2020 right now, and they have officially added Steve from Minecraft. And my goodness, we have come a long way. First, we started off as, like, first, I mean, guys, if you think Sans or Vault Boy isn't enough, we got a Block Boy in this game now. So, it is really amazing how Mojang and Nintendo has greatly collaborated. And Sakurai will be doing an in-depth presentation this Saturday, like I read. But with all that out of the way, guys, let me know what you guys think. Are you really excited to play as Steve at any point? And when do you think Steve will be releasing? And I do want to let you know, guys, if you hit the notification bell, I will also be making a video predicting of what Steve might come with for the 9.0 update and what kind of content they might give us, what kind of music or me costume and all that. I do want to, I do want to predict that tomorrow if I have enough time. So with all that out of the way, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for, for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Remember this, once a legend, always a legend.